Isaiah, what, 12 and 9? We're going to get the day of the Lord. You ever heard of that? The day of the Lord? Let me, let me ask y'all this. What's going to happen when Christ comes back? Matter of fact, give me, give me Matthew 24, 37. What's going to happen when Christ comes back? Who knows? Who got some history of this Bible, man? Uh, 37. Nobody knows? Let me, let me ask this question then. When Christ comes back, is he going to come back hugging everybody? Is he going to come back? You say, yeah? Yeah? Is that what the scriptures say? Look, exactly. When Christ comes back, he's going to come back disappointed. He's going to come back disappointed. Why though? Because the majority of our people are still going to be in what? What caused us to, to be here right now on the bottom of society? Sin. He's going to come back disappointed because our people are still going to be in the midst of sin. All right? Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So the scriptures say, just like in the time of Noah, it's going to be like that when Christ returned. Right? Read on. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage. So just like in the time of Noah, right before the flood, right before God's purge, right before God killed off, killed off the majority of the world, they were eating, they were drinking, they were feasting, they were giving in marriage, they were going about their days like they normally do. Read on. Until the day that Noah entered, entered into the ark. Until Noah was finished building the ark. Read on. And knew until the flood came and took them all away. And that flood, when it came, it was too late for, for, for the people. It was too late for the world. Why? Because Noah, he was going out and teaching the people just like us, just like how we doing today. And guess what the people didn't do? They didn't listen. They didn't care. Right after Noah, you know, was done teaching them, they went back to doing what they was doing. They wasn't getting ready for God. Right? And then the flood came and wiped out everybody. Killed off everybody. That really happened. This is history, bro. Read on. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So when Christ comes back to redeem that fraction of people, right? It's going to be the same scenario. Same scenario, right? Except it's not going to be a flood, right? That's not what he's talking about. But it's going to be the same situation to where the majority of people are going to die. Right. Read on. Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken. Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken. Right? One's going to be out, or two's going to be in the field working. Right? You're going to be at your job. Everything is going to be all good. And then next thing you know, somebody's gone. Somebody's taken up. Right? Whoever's taken up, that's, that's going to be the redeemed Israelite man or woman that revert back to God's commandments. Right? These people you see with these fringes, these little stringly things right here, right? Them that maintain keeping all of the law, right? In the faith of Christ, they are going to be redeemed. Right? But that's, that's just a fantasy to our people. Right now, you know, everything is normal. We out here. It feel good out here. You know, it's a beautiful day. You know what I'm saying? Probably after we get done teaching out here, y'all going most people going to go about their days. Right? That's that's the mind state of our people. All right? Read on. And the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. Right? And one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord doth come. So the scriptures say, watch ye therefore, because Christ can come back at any point. Give me that in uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, start at verse 9, right? Christ, is, Christ can come back in the next hour. Y'all going to be ready? Y'all going to be ready? So you've been keeping God's commandments? We out here teaching you for the first time. You, 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 you royalty according to the Bible. 
And what comes with royalty is keeping God's commandments. That's right. Because he's not going to give you his inheritance and, unless you're worthy of it. That's right. You're not worthy of it if you ain't keeping his commandments. All right? Read. The book of first, Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. He's not slack con concerning his promise. This is going to happen. This ain't no joke. We ain't out here for no reason, man. We, we got better things to do and stuff, right? And all that. We could be doing the same things out here that y'all doing, right? But we understand the words of this Bible. He said this is a promise. When he comes back, he's coming back for, for, to slaughter. Playing no games. But we're not being taught these things in these churches. That's why we out here on the corner. Read on. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Right? As some men count slackness. He ain't, he ain't like us. Christ, God the Father, he, they're, they're not slack like we're slack. We can make a promise and, and break it like it's nothing. That's not going to be Christ. When Christ said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. You know? But is long-suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish. So Christ and the Most High God, the Father, they are long-suffering. Right? That's why we are here today. That's why we are here today. All right, read on. But that all should come to repentance. That's what, that's what the Most High wants. God wants all of his people to come to repentance. All of them. Now, according to scripture, that's not going to happen because it's already prophesied in the Bible that two-thirds are going to be cut off. Let's prove that. Give me that. Is that huh? Yeah, go ahead. Finish that off. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And that was the original point. The day of the Lord. When Christ, Christ's second return, when he returns, that is the day of the Lord. Right? Read it again, that last part. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. He gonna come like a thief in the night. Right? What, what, what happens in the scenario, right, to where you have a thief breaking in in, in uh, somebody's home? It's normally what time of day? It's nighttime. Why though? Because we're more comfortable at night. We, you know, we winding down from work and things like that. We getting ready to go to bed. We probably just had dinner and things like that. That's, that's the time frame, right? In in the in the scenario set up, right? That Christ is gonna come back. He gonna come back when y'all comfortable. He gonna come back uh, when y'all 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 doing out here like we've been doing, right? He's gonna come back in your current discipline. That's why we must start implementing this discipline right here because remember the scriptures say this is the holy spirit of discipline and the reason why our people are still in this condition is because we lack discipline when you see these little little uh young men out here they in gangs and things like that why why is that happening it's because we lack discipline right we don't have god's structure that we're supposed to have that we're supposed to implement throughout our communities Therefore, we end up in this position. We end up having to rely on another nation to survive. We are a second, um, a, a second, what do you call it? Second class citizen to this nation. Right. Right? We are afterthought to them. We need to start to rise up as men, as leaders, as a people, as God's chosen, so, so that we can uh, inherit this earth. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>